That's one thing I've picked up from reading um, Donald Healy's book, uh, My World of Cars. Yes. When they were talking about how, how it was, he found it was very rare that a designer could actually actually build what he was designing. Whereas in those days you had to build it all yourself because of shortage, That's right. of, shortage of you know parts and things because of the That's war and all sorts correct. of things. Yeah. You see, as I say, <coughs> I I would say that uh, from my latter experience that there's probably only one in a thousand who has this ability to put it down on paper and work it out uh, and say that's good or that's bad. He, he had been instrumental in a great many advances <coughs> that he, he had pushed forward when he was had his time in Coventry. Yes. So I suppose it's no surprise really that he wanted to then go on and set up his own company. That's right, With yes. all the experience he'd picked up working for oh, the yeah. various people, yeah. Uh, and, I mean, he, because he'd done these advances, he, he was not, he, while there was money within the family, it wasn't what you might call uh, a fortune. Hmm. And so, mo in a great many cases, he it, it was fighting finance mm. with what he could achieve. Yes, that's right. Uh, and the Donald Healy at one stage was a Fiat dealer in Warwick. And near his home in Cornwall, he had a friend who was also a Fiat dealer. And his friend said to him one day, Donald, I have a problem. I have a customer with a Fiat 500 who needs new pistons. Despite ordering them and pestering Fiat UK, I cannot get any re reaction. That very same year, the boss man of the Fiat Empire, Mr. Agnelli, I think it was Alberto, but I wouldn't swear to that, announced his intention to pay a state visit to London for the London Motor Show. Nobody else in his position had done so before, apparently. So there was a lot of rushing around by various people to make sure that everything was right for the arrival of the great man. Um, come press day, Earl's Court that year, everybody was gathered on the Fiat stand to meet the great man. They called him God, most people did in those days. And among them was Donald Healy. And his turn came to shake the great man by the hand and the great man turned to look at him and said, Ah, oh, Mr. Healy, I'm very happy to tell you that the pistons for your friend's Fiat 500 are on their way. 